So you've heard of this thing called print on demand, you heard it can make you some money, you're intrigued, and you wanna know a bit more, like where to sell your stuff. Opening an account with Printify and creating your first product is quick and easy, but choosing where to sell your products can be a little more tricky, but it doesn't have to be. Hey everyone, my name is Leah, and I'm here to help you decide which sales platform is right for you. First, we'll go over the pros and cons of marketplaces versus standalone stores, and then we'll talk about a couple different sales channels. Here at Printify, we want to help make your POD journey as smooth as possible, so make sure to like and subscribe so we can keep bringing you content like this. Let's get started with the basics. There are two broad categories of sales platforms, marketplaces and standalone stores. The general difference between the two is that a marketplace is an already established sales channel with a large audience like Etsy. Your store would be like a sales booth at a local craft fair or market, just online. A standalone store like Shopify, on the other hand, lets you have your own personalized website and URL, like having your own individual store, again, just online. Let's get into some specifics between the two, things from setup and customization to commissions and integrations. When it comes to setup, a marketplace store will be easier, faster, and much more newbie friendly. A standalone store will be more time consuming to set up and customize and may require some technical knowledge. A marketplace already has existing traffic, therefore it'll be cheaper to run. You can choose to run ads to your store though if you want. A standalone will have a higher cost since you'll need ads and marketing to drive traffic to your store. Marketplaces offer less in terms of personalization and themes, while standalone stores offer highly customizable looks as well as giving you the option to have your own custom URL. Marketplaces have rules when it comes to your customer data. It's quite limited, and as a seller, you're only allowed to contact a buyer if it's related to an order, so no email lists, marketing, or upselling possibility. With a standalone store, you'll have more control over your customer data, which means more control over promotions, content, and you can retarget customers and create repeat buyers. Each marketplace has its own set of rules that need to be followed, and if platform regulations aren't strictly adhered to, you may face penalties. Since you're the owner of a standalone store, rules and regulations are up to you. As for payments, a marketplace will take a percentage of each order. For standalone stores, unless you build a custom website without a service like Shopify, they'll also usually take a commission. Another thing to note is that payment setup isn't always convenient or free. A marketplace will be pretty competitive since there are multiple sellers on one site. With a standalone store, you're still competing with the internet in general, but you're not directly competing with other sellers on the same site. Marketplaces are quite limited if you want to use other apps, whereas with standalone stores, the options are virtually unlimited, however, it can become costly. To sum up, marketplaces are usually a friendlier option if you're a new seller and are a great starting point for your print-on-demand journey. Standalone stores are an excellent choice if you're building a unique brand or themed store. Many merchants start on a marketplace and then shift to a standalone store as their business grows. When you start getting tons of sales, a standalone store might make more sense as it will give you more control. Some merchants even have both. It all depends on what stage you're in and what your strategy is. To help you out, we'll give you a general overview of the most popular choice when it comes to each category. Keep in mind there are other great platforms out there as well that easily integrate with Printify. These include eBay, BigCommerce, WooCommerce, Wix, PrestaShop, Squarespace, and Printify API. And we keep adding more integrations often, so always make sure to check the full list at Printify.com. We love giving advice and guiding you, but keep in mind that it's always best to do your own research on top. Let's talk about Etsy first. Etsy is a marketplace and the ultimate place to sell products online for beginners. Set up your store for free in just a few minutes by creating a profile and adding some products. Etsy already gets a ton of traffic simply because of their popularity. It was built so that customers could find products online in one place, so Etsy will already get you some free traffic and you won't have to promote your own products as much. Etsy does have various fees, however, that can impact your business if not accounted for properly. This includes a listing fee for each product, transaction fees, and payment processing fees. Etsy also is stricter on what you can sell through the marketplace. Handmade goods or handmade with production assistance, crafts, and vintage items are all okay to sell. Check out our full Etsy guide if you think Etsy is the right place for you. Now let's talk about one of the most popular standalone platforms, Shopify. 
Shopify is extremely scalable and is built for all types of stores from big brands to small businesses. It's perfect for personalization and there are no rules for the types of products you can sell. There are numerous Shopify apps that you can use to customize and advance your store, but adding apps can create high monthly costs, especially for beginners and small scale sellers. Getting customers to your store is also completely in your hands. Your traffic solely depends on your marketing skills and the brand. In summary, a marketplace gets tons of visitors every day because it's an already established sales channel. This is beginner friendly and will make your entry into the sales world simple and easy. A standalone store lets you build your own professional website to sell your products and can usually be fully customized to your liking. This is good for niche stores and people whose brands already have a large following. When choosing the right sales platform for you, think about what your goals are what your vision is, and how much time or money you can afford to spend at this point in your journey. How else can we help you with your POD adventure? Let us know down below and remember, like and subscribe to keep getting useful info like this.